Oh my god, y'all! It's Metroid! Hey, look, y'all! It's Metroid! <laughs> and he always <laughs> yells at me when I do that. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to Metroid Prime Remastered! With the usual three idiots and my good friend Zulo. The usual three idiots? Are you including yourself in that? Yes, yes, he is. He can't take it back now. Welcome to Metroid Prime Remastered. Not the original Metroid Prime. Let's switch directly to the force field barriers. <gasps> force field barriers. This force field blocks the entrance. It's a nice ship. Energy field force and can you couldn't reach your gunship. No! How do I leave? You but can't. Wait, how did we get here? We jumped off our ship. Alright, so Metroid Prime for me. This is my introduction to the Metroid series. Force field activation switches are now online. Oh shit, I missed a scan. I gotta restart, guys. What oh. did you do? I didn't scan these before I activated it or something. Yeah, you did. Know. It's oh, alright, okay. you don't need to scan everything in this game, just the mission critical stuff. No, 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 no. I got a complete scan for it and scan literally every single thing possible. We did request this of him, Robert. If we miss a few, it's not going to kill us. And I will kill as long Michael. as I get the important logbook entries for 100%. But, <laughs> me personally, I, I have to scan it all, guys. I will kill the main Mike. docking bay. <laughs> Nothing that we scan here is going to be all I that important. I have to scan it all. Why don't you just exterior. scan yourself, then? <laughs> What's this say? Deck cam, a reactor core and propulsion, current status, environment, normal. Normal? That will be curious in a few Deck minutes. Deck Alpha Emergency ev Evacuation Area. Unstable. So I discovered something. When you do a New Game Plus, everything you scan stays scanned in the New Game Plus, including these unimportant ones. Well, that's good. It means we could have started with that. <laughs> well, I did suggest uh, doing that and doing a no-scan run, just run through it. Do yeah, that, but that probably would have been a little scan. too fast. Airlock pressurization. Repressurization. Repressurization. This is a required scan, because you can't get in until the pressurization finishes. And a, what, it won't finish until you scan it? Yeah, it won't. Yeah, it won't do anything until you actually cycle the airlock. I'm so. gonna skip those. Also, apparently, there was no artificial gravity. I guess Samus had magnet boots until then. A lot of stuff is getting here. New creature, New creature. has been downloaded. Paras uh, parasite, interstellar vermin. They travel in swarms. Indigenous to Town and Four, a single parasite is harmless to larger life forms. However, they tend to travel in large groups. Swarming over potential prey, such swarms can be dangerous. Also, that scan right there is missable. It's one of a few missable scans that you can have in the game. But you can get parasites later. Space pirate status. Death caused by severing of the spinal cord. Well, I mean, you can only get it here, and spoilers, uh... What are you talking about? You see more parasites on the ship. That's not the only time on the ship you see them. Well, yeah, but, you know, they, this ship might not be here forever. Well, yeah. I mean, if you're talking about scans of the ship, that was a, a parasite. That was a creature entry. Well, yeah. Oh, that's one I just scanned. There's a lot of shit to scan in here. Yeah. That is a big morphology unknown. unknown. High levels of radiation detected. Oh boy. Hey, I'm trying to get this one game. <laughs> That's a dead space pirate. Space pirate. Death caused by severe flame damage to exoskeleton. I wonder how that happened. Escape pod entrance. The vessel has already been jettisoned. That's interesting. You'd think that a creature that large wouldn't be able to sustain an exoskeleton. What do you mean? Well, generally, insects have exoskeletons, and larger creatures need endoskeletons to maintain their frames. You know what else has an exoskeleton? What? Crabs. Yeah, but they're not super big. They're not the size of a space pirate. It could be. Unless they're giant know. enemy crabs. Ha! <laughs> 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 Should you shoot it in its weak point for massive damage? Absolutely. Oh, wait, there's then... more there. Little suscling ass that are also there. That's... Almost as if this is a fantasy game, you know, and it has fantasy elements. Space mm. fantasy. Yeah, but you we can also science talk about detected. That, that means fantasy. this bitch is alive. Imprints of a large bite marks can be seen on an exoskeleton. He's been chewed on. And now he's dead. Now he's dead. 
Also, Get I want to say... Here. I want to kill you. I want to say something about the remastered version that irritates me. The fact that you uh, can't start a charge without firing first? Yes. In the original game, you could chain together charge shots very fast, and it lets you have so much power. In this game, they require you to fire a burst of three before you start charging. Why? It's I just how they programmed it. It's such a huge nerf to your power output. Okay, if my launch coordinates tell them four, one one. You want to know something else they did do right? The only complaint the original developers had about the whole game? What's that? They didn't layer the textures on the doors correctly. This is not what the door is supposed to look like. Oh, it's supposed to look yep. more like the original? The doors are layered backwards. The alpha layer on top is actually supposed to be that metal part. And the glow from the uh, doors is supposed to be faint around it. But for some reason, they took the alpha layer, which is the blue that you see on the doors right so now. And they put there. that as the primary, which is ridiculous. Three, four, and seven launched. Yeah, Zulu is the one that actually brought that to my attention. I didn't know that. Woo. Although this debris is obstructing the hallway, it looks like it can easily be removed. Fun fact, the original Metroid Prime was actually one of two games that I got with my GameCube back when I first got it. Yep, and your copy was how I first played Metroid Prime. Fun Hello, fact, more I've never played a single Metroid. The only experience I have with Metroid is watching other people play. Woo. What about Smash Bros? Uh, I meant the direct non-spin-off series. <laughs> yeah. Well, technically, is Prime? No, Prime is still part of the main series. It's still canon, is it not? Yeah. All yeah. of the Metroid games are canon. There we go. Research and map change. Station. Welcome to Map Station Holograms. Download a map of the area you're in. This is a missable scan since there's only a few of them, and once you walk into it, you can no longer scan it. Bringing up the canon thing, uh, the timeline location for Metroid Prime is literally immediately after the the first Metroid game. Wait, I thought this one was the first in the series. I don't nope. remember. This one happens immediately after her Zero mission. She actually followed these this particular frigate here from Zebus. Uh, she didn't follow the frigate here. She was responding to a distress signal. Oh, well, no. Well, I do know it came from Zebus, along with two other ships that I think also disappeared. If I wasn't scan whoring, I'd probably be escaping the frigate right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's only if you absolutely ignored every scan. I think if you didn't, if you only scanned, like, important stuff, like logbook entries, you would probably be fighting the boss of this area. <gasps> Spoilers! There's a boss here. Oh in no! In a Metroid shocking. game, in a I'm... game of any variety. If you've played any Metroid game, you know there's a boss at the end of the first area. Access to deck beta approved. Please stop into the It's almost like what I just said didn't even go through Robert's head. What did I? What did you say? What did I miss? I said I've never played a single fucking Metroid. Oh yeah. Well, I'm talking to other people. He's <laughs> addressing the viewers. Yeah, but it's just the the fact that he literally just says that afterwards, you know, if anybody has never played a Metroid, like I just said. <laughs> so, for Robert, a lot of stuff goes in one ear and out the other, and then he speaks? That's not entirely true. Yeah, Robert, some of it just of doesn't even get inside. doesn't ever enter in the first place. There we go. <laughs> and he can't argue well, with that one. You can sigh all you want, Robert. You know it's true. You know we've lost count of the amount of times we've been saying something to you, and you didn't hear a damn word we said. You guys are gonna keep this up, and I'm gonna stop buying you breakfast. <laughs> oh no, my breakfast! Oh no, my breakfast! Oh, wait a second. You didn't get it. <laughs> exactly. So I can keep it up. <laughs> you, you you don't buy my breakfast, and I'm no longer paying for your phone. How about that, smarty pants? <laughs> oh, hello there. Oh, we have advancing space pirate. It looks like it's allowing it to alive. penetrate any known alloy. Mm. The fluid sacs in the mouth enlarge after mutation. Oh wait. I feel like this is something you should be scanning up close so you can actually. Parasite egg it. and pupa stage. Stuff exoskeleton protects it from its mother acidic embryonic fluid. You're about to get shot. <laughs> so that was increased production of corrosive bile. Ow. After mutation, the carapace of the larva becomes rigid. 
Carapus is quite resilient, able to resist the attack of many predators. I keep feeling like maybe, just maybe, your self preservation instinct is severe not internal damage detected. Hey, buddy. Oh, Wait, what's put broken? Out of his misery. Both of his legs. Both of your legs are broken. He'll shoot at you, though. I was trying to scan this game. This is an important new data. Scan. Small energy replaces ten energy of the stuff. Punish three to ten magical oh, look energy. Oh, look at that! I got all my health back. It's like it didn't even matter. This door has been sealed to prevent radiation leaks. Unknown. Low life signs detected. It's in a form of stasis. I know there's more stuff to scan right here. We go. No, that we're good. Just look for the brightly colored things. I thought it was brightly colored. Because yeah. of the board behind it. Oh, there we go. That's a. Coils in this ventilation cap. cap look unstable. I thought I could scan a lot of that stuff from up here. I guess not. And then just to get this scan, because I want to. Shut up. Ballistic support needed if specimen. Uh, in specimen block F. Oh, you're about to get shot at by a missile turret. Or not missile turret. Laser turret. I'm still scanning it through the wall even though I can't see it since. Well, Auto turret uses missiles to break out our KC. Well, that's incredibly helpful. Or break the whole damn thing, more like. New data. So walls are just a suggestion. Missile yes. ammunition replies. I always thought of it. With three rounds. I always thought of it as once you lock on to a data source and beginning scanning it. Is there uh, something on the wall? It just connects wirelessly no, through true. walls and stuff. There's lots of things to scan in this room. New pirate data. Space pirate encrypted data decoded. Zebus has fallen. All grounded personnel are presumed dead. Either killed by the hunter clad in metal or in the subsequent destruction of the underground facilities. A research frigate Scorpion which is the one I'm on right now, Seracious, or how do you say Seracious. that, and Vol Paragon were in orbit at zero hour, managed to retreat. Frigate Orphan is now... Orphan? Orphean is now docked at Vortex Outpost. Orphean's cargo appear to have a 100% survival rate. Metro rates are healthy, but unrestricted feeding schedules due to uncertain supply status. We are ready to begin research on the Metro rates and other promising life forms. Security status remains at Code Blue. No signs of pursuit from the Hunter. I am the hunter. They are the prey. Okay, so I, I'm i wrong. I'm willing to admit that. What's this, up? They had to have been here a while, which means, yeah, this did happen after the first Metroid game, but at some point in the, some point past that. From what I remember, the entire Prime series happens after Metroid 1 and before Metroid 2. And they'd have to happen before Metroid 2, because Metroid 2 is when you, you know, you get off the rest of the Metroids. There's no more... Auto turret disabled. Oh, there was a turret up here. Awful godded. And now it's dead. Early look at a bunch of the enemies in the game. Parasite larva. Harmless unless encountered in large numbers. Again. Plasmite. Native of Talon 4. An enemy from a previous Metroid game. Unknown status. Xenomorphic life form unstable. Use caution. Yeah, these are in the 2D Metro games, even the first game. But there's not they're not in this game. This is the only that you see of them, just a little graph on the left. Graphic. That's another plasmite. Uh actually yes, Robert is right. Prime is right after one, and then Hunters, and then two. Or then Prime Two. Mm-hmm. Let's see, Prime Three, Federation Force, uh, Return of Samus. Super Metroid, Other M, Fusion, Hello. Dread. Hey. That seems to be the official order. Complexity. Dread is technically Metroid 5. Metroid bread, the most delicious of Metroids. Uh, <laughs> elevator operational. Please step on a hologram. You'd think something made out of Metroids used for consumption would taste terrible. Hey, guy. What does your data say? 
It says internal damage. Shoot him until he dies from it. No. External damage. Ah. But what's causing all this internal damage? War Wasp. That is a missable scan. Unfortunately, I don't get data from him here. Nope. Plated Parasite. There's another missable scan. Zoomer. Plated yes, Parasite. Zoomers. Pretty sure Plated Parasites show up in one place in the entire game. Space Pirate. Creature's aim will be hindered from brain hemorrhaging. Well then, let's put him out of his memory. Now this one's healthy. Space Pirate. Minimal injuries. Let's fix that. Maximum injuries. Also, these space pirates don't look anything like any space pirate in the entire rest of the series. They still look like bug creatures. Ice Shriek Bat. Another missable scene. What's interesting about space pirates is they seem to look different in every single game, almost. Acid Burns. Have welded the joints almost. of the exoskeleton. Oh! Damn. Poor dude. Let me put him out of my misery. So Your almost misery for reading Space that. pirates pretty much recruit anybody and then just morph them to some sort of weird exoskeleton needing body. Streak bat. It's possible. I figured they were all toxic. Yeah. I figured they were all just the same race. Aren't they? I think canonically they are supposed to be the same race. Maybe they just have different armor augmentations in each game. But they do seem quite fond of mutating themselves. Yeah, they have to be adaptable, since they go to all the other weird planets and, uh, you know, they breathe normally. They're okay. They don't need much of a spacesuit. They just need some sort of chitinous armor, and they're fine. But there's more there. Using improper codes may result in turret activation. Oh, no. That well, let's start targets. hacking. This zero, 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 zero. That's zero. going take zero. forever. One. <laughs> One 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 one. Lois? Yeah. One 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 two. Four 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 one. <laughs> he had severe lacerations to the abdomen. He got gutted. Sounds like. Time to go inside. This is an elevator. How this do you is... know? You don't know that? Oh shit, it's an elevator, guys! <gasps> Who could have thunk it? It's also a diagonal elevator. You don't see those very often. Hello, I see you up there. You see them in, in, in use anywhere that you need to minimize space. The thing is, we use vertical elevators because we just don't actually care that that much. Actually, a vertical would take less, but... Uh, but minimizing space when you're in a both horizontal and vertical fashion will require you to take a uh, diagonally moving one. We makes sense. Door it's locked. like a very specific situation, you know. Energy now flows through a series of locking mechanisms on the door's surface. What's really fascinating is when you see those office buildings that have both horizontal and vertical elevators that are capable of traveling both directions. A spherical shape. How kind of them to make the door lock in my image. <laughs> Fun fact, destroying things with missiles has a, has a high chance of dropping missiles. And of course, there are certain enemies that are just more likely to drop missiles anyway. Unless you're in hard mode, in which the game says, fuck you, no missiles. But I needed missiles to finish this room! No, fuck you, you have to come back with full missiles later. But I only needed one more missile! No, fuck you, leave. <laughs> oh. Hard uh, mode sounds like a pain in the butt. Hard mode was... It wasn't super difficult, but it was irritating as all work. At certain... Will you scan the thing I'm aiming at? It's right in front of me! Well, get right in front of it. There we go. <laughs> okay, jeez, gosh. I can't, I'm just picturing these space pirates running around with a large morph ball Samus-shaped sphere, using them to open the doors. Save station! Step into these stations to save your game and fully restore your energy. What's a game? Don't think about it. Time to get lasered. Oh no. Ah! 
and then contort myself into a ball. Seriously, how? Magic. You know, the original GameCube game actually looked really stunning for the time that it was made. Mm-hmm. You're looking at it now. <laughs> and this also looks stunning. Well, yeah, this is the remastered version, though. Kind of makes me want a side-by-side -side comparison. Someone's done a video on it, I'm willing to bet. Of course, on day oh, one. Yeah. Hell, even before day one. Hello and there, don't worry. Instead of actually praising shit this stuff, they complained about every little nitpick they could since it's more interesting for content. Yep. I love this remaster, it's amazing. I also, missable scan. Cause it's a boss. Bosses only come up once. Also, this scan is actually something you want to go out of your way to do because it unlocks a... Parasite Squeen. Squeen? <laughs> Parasite Queen! Parasite Female genetically enhanced by unknown means. A weak spot has been detected in the creature's mouth. Use your auto-targeting to acquire this new target. Yep, it actually gives you a new target. Scans indicate the presence of a potent mutagen, origins unknown. The creature exhibits the ability to fire weapons, great blasts of energy from its mouth. A trait not present in the standard parasite genome. It appears the pirates have begun a bioengineering program with considerable results. I always thought it just fired highly pressurized streams of acid at you. Ow. Don't you fire that Nova Beam looking thing at me. And like most bosses in Metroid, it's very weak to missiles. Also, this boss fight was much harder in the GameCube version. Because the GameCube version actually play had a higher spike in difficulty. Enemies were way tankier in that game. To the point where they brought it back on the Wii, they actually had to put a casual difficulty in. And then just made a veteran difficulty for the classic experience. Yeah, when I played through the Metroid Prime Trilogy, I decided to play it on Veteran, thinking it'd be harder, and I was like, this doesn't seem any different whatsoever. Well, that's because it wasn't different. Welcome to a staple of Metroid series games, the Exploding Escape. Yep. What game doesn't have one? I could probably think of one, but I don't want to right now. I'm, I'm escaping Exploding Metroid facility. 2, Return of Samus. Mm, nope, it has an explosion at the end. Nope. Doesn't it? The original does not. Hmm. Did the remake add one? Actually, I don't think it did. Because in the end, you just walk out with the infant Metroid. Remember? Scan whoring here is good, because now I've deactivated the turret. Deactivating the oh, turret. Oh no! I missed the scan of the hologram! I have to restart, guys! <laughs> You're not scanning I'll... everything, it doesn't matter. I will certainly fucking try! Man. Get out of here. I'm gonna ignore those enemies that are gonna die anyway. These guys aren't even bothering to fight you. It looks more like they're shooting each other. We. We. Oh, there's the where you would get the parasites normally. Yep, those are the parasites. Also, they hurt if they hit you a lot at once. We. I imagine they would kill you really quickly on hard. They don't seem to be doing much on this difficulty, man. Well, yeah, they, they you have to get hit by a lot of them. They're kind of like Zerglings. We. Yeah, but Zerglings are, are are really effective in StarCraft. Come on, because they um, can be. Spent. This is the room with unless the they're elevator. going up against siege tanks. You can take them uh, take out siege tanks really easily with uh, Zerglings if you. You're really good at microing, but I am terrible at it, so... And throw enough circlings at your problems. Yeah, I'm, I'm far from a StarCraft Grandmaster. Uh, I probably wouldn't even beat somebody who's decent at StarCraft here. Oh, they hit me. Also, doors open up so much faster in this version of the game. Yeah, yes. I, I, I played through this. I didn't once have that instance where it had to load what's happening behind the door. When we played on the GameCube version, uh, sometimes the doors would take up to like 30 seconds to open. Yep. That might be a slight exaggeration, but they did last fucking forever sometimes. They just could not load what was on the other side fast enough. Especially if now, you moved very quickly. Speaking of what's on the other side, 
You'll have to wait till next time to find out what's on the other side of this door. Bye, everybody! Okay, bye-bye. Ah.